Good morning. Today is Saturday. It's the last weekend we're going to be here in, in this, uh, well, prop, maybe in Oklahoma altogether, but definitely in Wichita State uh, National Preserve, Wichita Mountain, something, whatever it is. Um, but there are uh, some bison here we're going to go and take a look at. Big animals. Um, yeah, I'll give you an update after after this. We've got some some things going on. Okay, so we're at, we're, we're going to be hiking, doing a lot of hiking today. Basically, um, as I said, last last uh, couple days, last weekend of being here, and. Um, so kind of want to start off with just a review of the week. So, you know, we, as, as if you're watching these, you know, we work on the road. Um, we both have remote jobs and Internet is super important. So in order to get Internet, we had to drive to the, uh, there's like a pond. And if you kind of look beyond the pond, there's, you know, a hill to where civilization is. So that's how we were getting the Internet because it was coming over that little crest. Um so that it worked well, you know, the, the internet was great. We were able to work just fine. Downside, we kept having rangers come by and being like, "Are you camping here? You know, what, what are you doing here?" He's like, "No, we're not camping here. We're camping at the campground. We're paying. Don't worry about it." <laughs> so that was a little annoying. Um, the other thing that kind of wasn't great was at night we couldn't look anything up. We couldn't prepare for next week. We couldn't, you know, I couldn't take care of like our our budget I, I need to do our I still need to do that um like you know pay, just random work that needs to be done at home and and just looking up the weather like you know like like things like that there was no time for because it was work and then okay it's getting late let's get back cook dinner stuff like that so the lack of internet uh, availability you know was kind of it, was, it wasn't good so we bit the bullet and we said okay you know what we're getting Starlink so we ordered that. We ordered it on Friday, I think. Thursday. Thursday? Really? Yeah. Thursday. Um, and we got the email confirmation that it ships. It's going to be in Albuquerque, Mex New Mexico. And we are going to be um, needing to get there. So the, the first package is going to get there on Monday. And that's going to be the satellite dish. And then we got the the mobile case for it even though it's way too expensive um we got the case and that won't be there till thursday we figured you know with all the stuff flying around here we do not want this thing damaged it, it, the dish itself is expensive we didn't get the really expensive one we got the one that's um for rvers when you're stationary not while you're in transit which we don't need it while we're moving we just need it when we're staying still um so yeah, so that looking forward to that because it will be, it will be regular internet. It, hopefully, it will be as if we're on a cable line. That's the hope. We'll see. Um, you know, I've been disappointed before. <laughs> Solar, you know, with the, the there's been some great wins, but there's also some limitations. So I'm sure we'll experience something similar with the with the Starlink. Um, yeah. So that's. That's basically it. So next next week after this weekend is going to be goals to get to Albuquerque. I hear Albuquerque is nice. I hear there's things to look at and see there and music and all that, which I love. Um, but I can't look it up right now because we don't have internet. Maybe we'll park somewhere later today. Um, the other thing we're going to do this weekend is get shelving in. I have our kitchen here, right? And we got some water spots it looks like from when I cleaned this morning. But anyway... Um, under here is all of our kitchen supplies, and it's just kind of, it's organized, it's in bags, we know where things are, mostly, but it's a mess. So we do have some wood that we got while we're still on Civilization, it's back behind there somewhere. So we're going to cut these shelves and get it so it's nice. So that is also a uh, project for this weekend.
Well, this is a really pretty spot we found. I'll give you a 360 of this one. We're at the Narrows Trail. And I can see why it's called the Narrows because there's that ravine. That's a very narrow. <laughs> Sun's up there somewhere, around that cloud. Smell of Knox over there. That's another goal. I think people do a lot of bouldering and climbing here, trad climbing. There's a whole bunch of signs about not doing uh, sport, so no cli clips and anchors and stuff. Um, but trad, I'm sure, people do a lot. Where are you going, Knox? I'm not going that way. I would say this keeps going, this trail keeps going through this valley, so we're just exploring as far as we can and when we hit a dead end that we have to swim through, we'll stop. <laughs> well, we've gotten to a spot where it's kind of it's flattening out, starting to flatten out. I can see at the end there where the end of it is. Um, and I think I'm gonna end up having to carry Knox for a good portion of the rest of the way. Unless we find something that's flat or a little bit farther up, but right down here at the bottom is just a bunch of boulders and stuff. So it's kind of hard to get through for a little guy. All right, I think we're past that whole narrows area. Now we're just, uh, Kind of an uncharted terrain, I think. I haven't seen a real trail or anything for a while. I found that this this whole park seems to be very, you know, choose your own adventure. Like the trails are not, well, the trails that exist are not very well marked. They're just kind of it's like a collection of uh, bushwhack trails that eventually kind of some of them got more worn than others, and that became the trail. And every once in a while I see a carn, but there's no blazes or anything like that, so I don't think it's a problem to be just kind of wandering through the prairie. <laughs> but yeah, it's beautiful out here. I it's just really I'm really enjoying this area. It's it's very different than the than the hacking I normally do. Um, the only other time I've been in an area like this was when I went to Denali, which is obviously more remote but it's also a choose your own adventure kind of place. And uh, that's, you know, a lot harsher. This is a very welcoming uh, climate. The only thing that kind of sucks is the little spikies and, and the, you know, uh, for the dog, you know, spiky ball things. And then the briar, strands of briars remind me of uh, like a blackberry bush. 
beautiful. And it's a great, gorgeous day. 60 something degrees, I think, is the high. Oh, in January, very nice. Look at this. This is just out in the middle of nothing. Just got the stream by our side. Easy to walk. Clearly, this is uh, grazing territory for the cattle and bison and all that stuff, the deer. But uh, yeah, this is, this is wonderful. I'm just uh, making my way over this little ridge line here. Got to get to the other side to be able to get towards where the uh, car is. Um, it's been interesting trying to find your way because you got to pick a spot where it's not too steep because the boulders get very large and hard to climb. And uh, you know, find a nice shallow spot where the brush isn't too hard to get through. Lots of animal paths, fortunately, and my dog is helping out tremendously because he's sniffing out all the animal paths, so he gets the easy way to get through things. So. It's working out really well, but I turned around just now, stopped for a second, didn't even notice this, and now I got this beautiful view. Well, I made it out to some dirt road, which I have on the map. So we know where we are, and uh, now we just walk back to the car, it's not too far. Um, I don't know how far, but now that we're actually able to move a little more freely, and not, we're not bushwhacking at all, or route finding, um, we'll get there pretty quick. So, I'll just complete this, get back to the van, and probably take a break, have some lunch, and then go on another hike. I have to I have to make note of this so I can remember it for the future. So Val has dubbed certain areas around here the land of the little rocks and the land of the big rocks. <laughs> right now we're in the land of the little rocks. But yeah, you've seen some of the the big rocks like what was it? I think two videos ago where we got uh hiking through those areas with the notches and whatnot. That's the land of the big rocks. So <laughs> just cracks me up. <laughs> Lost Lake. I think there's going to be a lot of these little dams along the way. This trail that I'm on now is a loop and it follows a river, or stream, or whatever you want to call this, probably a river, um, upstream, and uh, it's, got, you know, it's got all these dams on it. And then on the way down, we'll be away from the river and at the um, land of the Little Rocks. <laughs> so this is January, what's today, 27, 28, and uh, it is, I have 60 today with the forecast. I, uh, I, I'm very glad that we're not doing this specific hike in the middle of summer. Like, I can just imagine, that, like, look at this, it's you know, not barren because there's plenty of low stuff, but there's no shade. If this were sweltering like 90, 100, whatever the heck it gets down here in the western uh, Oklahoma, just imagine it would be pretty pretty brutal and my dog he's you know he's all black so he collects sun like you know really really well he'll get hot real fast if he doesn't have shade or something so uh, this is good good temperature to be doing this in and we just lucked out I think on the day like in terms of the high being 60 so this is probably more like um, it's probably more like early, early spring or something, maybe mid-spring weather. Let me show you this guy. Let's see, five of them over there. Oh, four. Four. 
We always reading that they spend the midday hours uh, slaying down and digesting. I don't know if they do the whole cut thing. Yeah, there it is. Excellent walk right by that thing. Giant, giant longhorn cow. Cattle, not cow, whatever. Um, yeah, Knox didn't notice it. He sees it now, but he's not barking. <laughs> that's, that's, I wasn't expecting that. You know, it's kind of funny, because like if I'm at a farm or something and I see a cow, I don't, I don't care. Like I, I've, I was at a farm one time helping somebody wrangle up their cows and like these were big cows you know beef cows massive way bigger than that thing and i was charging them in order to get them to herd them basically into the into their nighttime sleeping area and uh i would run at them stomp my feet get real close didn't bother me out here though i know they're the same thing like these are you know, the herd numbers are kept constant. Um, the reason that they're here is to preserve the longhorn cattle gene pool. So like somebody put them here many years ago. This is something Val read the other day. Put them here many years ago to preserve the gene pool. Similar to how you would, you know, like, like with, I used to raise pigs, right? And I raised Tamworth pigs. So they were, they were purebred, they had papers, all that kind of thing. It's the same, same deal. It's just, we're doing it the government's helping out kind of thing. Um, so they're semi-domesticated. They're not really going to bother you, but they're also only semi-domesticated. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous about whether or not they might get a little defensive with Knox if he starts barking at them. But yeah, it's. I think I'm unnecessarily concerned, but uh, so far, so good. So. This almost looks man made. It's just random pond just hanging out in the middle of this field well prairie whatever whatever you call this but doesn't look like there's anything in particular driving water to it it's kind of at the top of a little lump i don't know how these things form how they keep water in them it's, the water you know the way water works i think it's stored on the planet it's just it's just cool i wish you could kind of see a time lapse of something like this, how it formed, how it stays, you know, all that kind of thing. This is going to be the big test. Hey buddy! Oh, you passed the test, we're not dead. <laughs> um, I had, I couldn't film that. I needed to uh, be focused on him and I needed treats and all that kind of thing. But he did really good, he didn't bark. He, he got a little excited a couple times, wanted to charge at him and bark and whatnot, but or sniff him, <laughs> but we were right next to him, and he didn't, he didn't freak out. He did a good job. So that was, that was very good. Go ahead, Knox. Went off the beaten trail again. Trying to take a shortcut over this river in front of me. Um, but I don't know if I can get down to it. We'll see. This will work. Get across and then 
head to the right, and back to the parking lot. Reheating some jambalaya from uh, leftovers from a couple days ago, and some tortellini. And this is my view from outside. This kitchen is working out pretty good. <laughs> So speaking of the kitchen, since we've gotten to Oklahoma, we've had um, one day of rain, and that was since last Sunday, or no, Saturday is when we arrived, and then we were doing things on Sunday. So we did do a charge when we got to the campsite. There's electric at the campsite. We did one full charge because we were low, and since then, I think we had a, a little bit from there because the charger doesn't charge all the time. That's a whole other thing. Um, but basically, we're almost full right now on battery. And we've used this, this induction, you know, a couple days, or a couple times today. Um, so the, the one thing is last night we did go uh, to the town nearby Cash for uh, some pizza. So we did not have to cook that night. Um, but otherwise, you know, we're pretty much full up on electricity. So And it's January. So this is working out pretty well right here. We've had you know some good Sundays, but um, it's it's just out here where it's not so cloudy, like in the Northeast where it's super cloudy. This is not working, but out here it is. I think I have a tick on me. But <laughs> yeah, so just kind of keeping up to date on that because it is interesting to me to know when you know how much solar you need and all that kind of thing. We have 750 watts if if. Uh, if you're not aware of that, 750 watts of solar on the roof, 400 amp hour battery, um, 30 amp charge controller, and 2,000 watt inverter. But I'd actually get a little bit bigger one if I had, if I could do it over. But yeah, that's it. Done with that bigger hike, and now we're at a little family friendly thing called the Parallel Forest. It's basically a bunch of trees planted in rows. So if you look diagonally or Whatever direction, they're in straight. <laughs> All right, last thing I think for this video is we just saw an elk. Pretty sure it's an elk. So we've seen elk, longhorn cattle, bison, and some very nice antler deer on this uh, this visit here. But after uh, this, I was gonna be just town day doing laundry. Oh, it's scratching. <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? Um, tomorrow's just gonna be a town day, uh, so I'm not gonna film any of that. We're gonna figure out whether or not we're leaving tomorrow night, or we have a reserve for the tomorrow night as well. So we might. We we're thinking maybe of leaving a night early, but if not, we'll leave the next morning. We're gonna schedule out where we're gonna be doing what we, I really want to plan a fitness shower I, I really do the showers at the campsite are terrible they're cold they're just awful so we both want a nice plan of fitness shower and a um, a massage now I'm, I'm starting to like the fact that we got <laughs> the plan of fitness but I don't know if there's any here there's definitely none close by we gotta figure out where the heck they are and plan our lives around getting to a plan of fitness <laughs> Okay, see you later.